What's up guys, today's video is the first episode of how to run your first Minecraft speedrun. This series is going to be 4 episode series and in each episode I'll teach you one aspect of speedrunning. And when you will finish watching the series, you will have all the knowledge that you need to run your first Minecraft speedrun and even to get a respectable time. So today's episode is going to be about world resetting and speedrunning mods. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be able to know when the next episode is here. There are a lot of ways to route a Minecraft speedrun and I'm going to talk shortly about the 7 most common of them. And don't worry, in the next episodes I'll teach you how to actually run them. But before you run a seed, you need to know which world is even good for speedrunning. So the first run is Classic Run. For Classic Run, you need to spawn next to a village. So you'll be able to get iron beds and food. You enter the nether and find a nether fortress. After you find a nether fortress, you trade gold nuggets with the piglins whilst you kill blazes. Then you go back to your portal and triangulate the stronghold. Run number 2, Temple Run. For Temple Run, you need to spawn next to a desert temple and then locate a lava pool. The third run is Cave Strut. For cave run, you need to spawn in plains or savanna biome, mine iron from cave and kill animals for food whilst the iron is smelting, then enter the nether. Run number 4, village run. For village run, you need to spawn next to village with blacksmith and find a lava pool. Run number 5, ruined portal. For a ruined portal run, you need to spawn next to a ruined portal with enough obsidian to complete it. Run number 6, Ocean Run. For an ocean run, you need to spawn on a beach or an island with a shipwreck close by or do a mapless buried treasure and then find the magma ravine, I will explain more about it in the next video. Last run, Monument Run. For a monument run, you need to have a similar spawn to an ocean run but with close ocean monument. Then you mine the gold blocks in the monument and trade them with piglins in the nether whilst you kill blazes in the nether fortress. And then you go back to your original portal and find the stronghold. So those are the 7 most common speedrun routes. Today I showed you where you need to spawn for every run and in the next episode I'll show you how to actually run those seeds. If you will click F3 and hold the shift button, a pie chart will appear. The pie chart has a lot of uses in speedrunning, but today I'm going to teach you how to set up the pie chart for finding villages and finding a buried treasure without using a map. So let's start with finding a village. First thing you need to do is click on the number that is next to tick, which in my case is 3, and then click on the number that is next to level and do it again with the entities and the block entities. Now you can see which block entities you are loading in your run register. Now let's say you saw furnace in the pie chart, now you know that you spawn next to a village with blacksmith. Now let's set up the pie chart for finding buried treasure. First thing you need to do after you open the pie chart is click on game renderer and then level and then entities and here it is you know how to set up the pie chart and in the next episode I'll show you how to actually find the treasure. So first thing you need to do is installing all the mods for speedrunning and don't worry I'll put all the links in the description box down below. So the first mod you're going to download is Lazy DFU. This mod is going to make Minecraft open faster. The next mod is Lithium which is the optimization mode. And the three mods Auto Reset, Fast Reset and Starlight allow you to reset very fast. And the last mode is Speedrun IGT which is going to be your timer. After you installed all the mods, grab them and put them in the mods folder. Now double click on the fabric loader, choose the 1.16.1 version and click install. Now open Minecraft and run the game on the fabric version. In the game you can see this golden boots icon. When you click on this icon, a loop of world creation will start. If you want to get out of the loop, just click on the stop reset and quit button. If you will click on your settings, you can see this icon. This is the timer settings. You can change the customization of the timer by going into your settings, 
click on the icon, click on timer display options and here you can customize it. Before the video ends, I want to thank a lot of my friend Mr. Brother for helping me make this video. Definitely go check his Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Mr. and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.